Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is standard form of a linear equation. So, so far we've done slope-intercept form, then we did uh, point-slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Slope-intercept is y equals mx plus b, probably your favorite. This one's pretty easy also. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. And then at the top, there's a yellow uh, ruler at the top. There's lots of classes up there. Your class is Integrated Math 1. Okay, so you'll find all of that stuff there. So an equation in standard form is AX plus BY equals C, where A and B are not both 0. A could be 0, B could be 0, C could be 0, but A and B both can't be 0, okay? And typically, your book doesn't say this, but I noticed uh, through the lesson, they, they don't let these be fractions as your answer. So if they are fractions, you multiply the whole equation by the common denominator. And one other thing that your book doesn't say is they want this one to be positive. So I'll talk about that as we go through that. They want A to be positive. So anyways, and another thing your book doesn't say, but boy, this is slick right here. Sure cuts your work down a lot. Uh, if an equation is in standard form, then your slope, you guys, is opposite the number in front of x over the number in front of y. That's your slope. Okay, and your y-intercept is just uh, this number over this number right here. Okay, most books, including yours, doesn't give you this little secret shortcut right here, but I'm going to show you uh, the benefit of this here. So you can act, um, uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> To say you can act smart in your class, and then, uh, uh, but it might frustrate your teacher. I don't know how your teacher is. So anyway, uh, your teacher probably knows this anyway. So write an equation in standard form of each line. Here we go. The slope is two, and um, uh, it goes through negative two two. Okay, so we want to write it in this form right here. Okay, well if the slope is two, okay. 2 is 2 over 1, and so this 2 over 1 is opposite A over B. So if I take opposite this number, that's what goes in front of the X. And if I take uh, uh, B, which is this 1, that's what goes right here. I should have put a 1 right there. Okay, there should be a 1 right there, but there, it's understood to be a 1 when there's no number there. Okay, the only thing we got to do is find out what C is. Well, that's where we use this ordered pair right here to figure out C. So plug in negative 2 for X and positive 2 for Y, and we get C equal to 6. So there's our equation, negative 2X plus Y equals 6. Your book has you go through a little bit more of a... Uh, hoops to jump through by doing your last lesson, uh, point slope form. But that shortcut right there, this one right here, this is our slope. It's opposite A over B. So when they give you the slope, man, it's just quick that way. So here the slope is 5, okay, and it goes through negative 2, 4. Well, 5 over 1, again, is opposite A. So opposite this is, is A. So negative 5 goes in front of X. And again, 1 goes in front of y, so there's a 1 right here. And, and then we're going to go ahead and substitute this point in to get c, okay? Piece of cake, okay? We get c equals 14, so there's our answer right there. Now, your book might write it as 5x minus y equals negative 14. In fact, I think they do. They just uh, multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. So if I multiply that by negative 1, that by negative 1, that by negative 1, this becomes positive 5x, this becomes a minus y, this becomes a negative. 14 but that's okay also you guys okay now the textbook is going to ask us uh, to use this problem to substitute it into slope intercept form and solve for B okay well slope intercept form from a couple of lessons ago is y equals mx plus B remember here's our answer right here so we should get the same answer right here okay now slope intercept form well we know uh, that the slope is um, so y equals m our m is 5 they gave us that they gave us this ordered pair, which this is x, so that goes right there next to the m, and then they told me this, um, uh, that the y right here of the ordered pair is 4. So here's y equals mx plus b. So let's solve for b, okay? When we solve for b, we get uh, b equals 14, because this is negative 10, and we add 10 to both sides, and we get 4 plus 10, which is 14, so b equals 14. Okay, so y equals 5x plus 14, y equals mx plus b. Okay, b was 14. All right, now if we subtract 5x on both sides, check it out. It gets us this answer right down here when we subtract 5x on both sides, okay? So when your book asks you to do that, no problem. All right, so this time it's going through these two points right here. So let's find slope right here. The slope is 
uh, y sub 2 minus y sub 1, which is 4 minus a minus 1, it's 4 plus 1, over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, 0 minus a minus 2 is 0 plus 2. Here's opposite a over b. Okay, so we put this in front of x and this in front of y right here. Okay, and so there it is right there. And then to get c, we just plug in any of the ordered pairs, you guys. I like this one. Zero is nice to work with, so I'm going to use that one this time. Okay, x is 0, y is 4. All right, so we get c equal to 8. So there's our answer right there. Okay, now your book will probably have this. They just uh, change the sign, change the sign, change the sign. They multiplied both sides of the equation by negative 1. This is great with me. Um, your book might be that. So if you see the answer to that, these two are equivalent equations right there, okay? They're the same, okay? So, so this answer is okay, and so is this answer right here, okay? They're the same equation. They're just negative ones of each other. All right, let's try this one. It goes through these two points. Again, there's the slope, so there's a over, opposite a over b. So we're going to put negative 4 in front of x and 1 in front of y, okay? And we get uh, that. Now we've got to get c, so plug in either point. I like sticking positive, so there's x, there's y. Use this point. We could have used this one also. It's going to get us the same c, whichever one we use, okay? So we get uh, c equal to negative 18, so there's our answer. All right, now your book doesn't like this, this leading coefficient, they call it, starting off negative. So if I change that sign, change that sign, change that sign, it's going to get us this guy right there, okay? So either one's okay with me, the red guy or the blue guy right there. All right, write an equation in standard form to model the linear situation, okay? So a tank is filling up with water at a rate of three gallons per minute. The tank already had three gallons in it before it started begin being filled, okay? So we'll let x equal the time in minutes since the filling began, okay? And then y equal the amount of water, okay? So we're going to start with this. Since it had three gallons before we started filling it, well, zero is the zero time. So at time equals zero, it already had three gallons in it. So zero, three is on that line right there, all right? And then our rate of change, you guys, um, is this three gallons per minute? So anything where you see the word per is our rate of change. That is our slope right there. So our slope is equal to three. So here's m. Here's x1, y1. So we're going to go ahead and substitute those into point slope form. And we get y minus three equals three x. Okay, because x1 uh, is at zero. So here's three x right there. Okay, and then, uh, is that it right there? And then we're going to put it in standard form. So it says write an equation in standard form to model that. So what we're going to do is just subtract 3x minus 3x minus 3x. And then we're going to go plus 3 plus 3. So we get this guy right here. See how I did uh, minus 3x, put it over there, put plus 3 over there. So it gave us this. Your book doesn't like that to start off negative, so they just changed the signs of both of them. So there it is right there. Either one of those bottom ones is okay with me. All right, so here's another one. A hot tub uh, filled with 444 gallons of water is being drained. So after 1.5 hours, the amount of water had decreased to 320 gallons. Okay, so the initial amount of water in the hot tub was at 440. So the time equals zero is 440. So 0, 440 is on the line. Then after 1.5 hours, the amount of water decreased to 320 gallons. So here's our time. Here's the gallons right here. So x and y, that's also on the line. So let's go ahead and find the slope. So our slope is negative 80 if we do our math right right there. And then you can substitute in any point that you want. I like this 0 right there, so I substituted in that for x. Okay, and then this for y, and then so we get uh, y minus 440 equals negative 80x, because that's just 0 right there. And then we got to write it in standard form, so we're going to add 80x to both sides. We're going to add 440 to both sides, so we get 80x plus y equals 440. All right, so identify uh, the form of each line. Okay, so uh, this one is in ax plus by equals c. This one's standard. This one's definitely point slope form. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. This one's slope intercept. Y equals MX plus B. This one's also slope intercept. Y equals MX plus B. See, here's the M, two -third, negative two-thirds. The M over here is two. All right, what's the M of this one? Negative four over negative three. Opposite A over B. Well, B is negative three. A is four, so opposite four is negative four over negative 3. So negative over negative is positive. The slope of this guy is 4 thirds. But it's not asking that. It's just identify those. So, so remember, standard form is ax plus by equals c. 
point slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus, actually it's x sub 1, that's what we say, x sub 1, this is y sub 1, and slope intercept is y equals mx plus b, so there's the answers right up there, okay? Lastly, you guys, it says rewrite the equations in standard form, okay? So we want to get it in ax plus by equals c, so this guy, we're just going to subtract 3x on both sides, and so this answer is cool, um, but if you want to stick with the book answer, they like to start it off positive, so I just changed all the signs of this guy right here. Okay, here, let's go ahead and put the negative through the parentheses right there. All right, so this becomes negative x minus 4, and then we add x to both sides, and we add 3 to both sides, so it's going to give us this guy right here. Okay, here, standards, they don't like fractions, so let's multiply everything by 3. So when we multiply by 3, it gets rid of the fractions. Okay, no problem now. Then we just subtract 5x on both sides. This guy looks good to me right there. I don't know. Your book might start it off and make this positive right here. Okay, so your book will have this pink guy probably. Okay, here let's put the two-thirds through the parentheses. So when we put that two-thirds through the parentheses, then we don't want to... Um, uh, we'll cancel those guys right there. The two-thirds and the three cancels right there. All right, and then the twos cancel, so we get y equals two-thirds x multiplied by three. Then we get three y equals two x, and then so subtract two x on both sides, and you get negative two x plus three y equals zero. Then they changed all the signs right there, okay? All right, if you guys are in my class, that would be your homework. Take care, you guys.